First introduced by Curve Finance, the VE token model enables anyone that locks protocol tokens for a given duration to receive voting power, platform fees, and boosted yields when using the platform. In return for locking token A for a period of time, from one week up to four years, you receive VE token A, representing your vote escrowed tokens. By holding VE tokens instead of the unlocked token, users can vote on governance proposals, receive a share of the protocol's fees, and boost their yield on their deposits in the platform strategies and liquidity pools. As you approach your unlock deadline, your quantity of VE tokens decreases, as do your voting rights, your revenues, and your boosts. Locking for as long as possible provides maximum benefits. As this mechanic favors large token holders, individual users often use yield aggregators so that they can gain the highest yield boost possible. These third-party platforms effectively claim ownership of users' tokens by relocking them perpetually on Curve. Due to the amount of their users' combined holdings, the yield aggregators can maintain the maxed boost on Curve strategies, which is then passed on to the end user, who can no longer access the governance powers of the token. In exchange for depositing their token and giving up their voting rights, users receive a boosted APY and the possibility to retrieve their token whenever they want. In other words, you can deposit your tokens to receive boosted yields and still be able to retrieve your original token with relative ease and safety, but in return you lose your voting power. Or you can keep your governance powers but receive far less yield and have to lock your token away for a set period of time. This is the trilemma. Governance, high yield, constant access. Users can only have two of the three. With liquid lockers, no one has to make a trade-off. No choice has to be made. You keep what is yours. Your tokens, your voting power, your rewards.